Another myth says that Bulan Pejeng is Subang Keboiwa, kind of big earrings wear by Keboiwa, a very powerful Balinese kingdom feature. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm currently at Penataran Sase Tampo, located at Pajang District, Gianya Regency, Bali, around 27 kilometers to the northeast of Denpasar City. Well, this place has a very unique story behind it. So, the name of this temple, or Penataran Sase Tampo, was taken from a very famous ancient relics in this place, namely Nekara Pejeng. Well, in this video, I will shortly discuss about Nekara Pejeng, both in mythology as well as archaeology. Let's go inside. Well, according to the myth that developed in the community, Nekara Pejeng is considered a moon that falls to earth, which is around this area, and illuminates the surrounding area, day and night. The community believed that the bright atmosphere prevented the thieves from carrying out his evil intentions. Since he was quite annoyed with such situations, so he urinated on the moon. As a result, the moon does not shine again until now. And you know, Megara Pejeng then is also known as Bulan Pejeng, means bulan or moon that falls in Pejeng. Bulan or moon in Balinese terms is sasi, and that words become the reasons of the name of this temple, which is Pura Penataran Sasi. Another myth says that Bulan Pejeng is Subang Keboiwa, kind of big earrings wear by Keboiwa, a very powerful Balinese kingdom feature. Well, with his magic, he has succeeded in making several sacred places like Gunung Kawi Temple and Goa Gajah. Next, how about the archaeological explanation? Well, according to archaeologists, Nekara Pejeng is a bronze Nekara shaped like a drum with a waist in the middle, has two sides of the punch area and one part of the punch area is open. The height of Nekara is around 1.86 meter with 1.60 meter diameter. When you see it up close, everyone, you will find some of motifs on the Nekara, like star pattern, bird feather, the tumpau pattern, which is similar with batik pattern, the letter F pattern, and a pair of marks. These decorations, besides containing magical religious symbols, are also beautiful works of art as well as a proof of artistic creativity of local wisdoms in the aesthetic field from the Balinese Perundagian period or Balinese traditional architect. Well, Nekara Pejeng is considered as evidence of technological progress especially in the field of knowledge and technical skill for making a bronze object. The mastery of this new technology is supported by the discovery of five fragments of stone molds to make Nekara's decorations are exactly the same as the Nekara Pejeng, but only smaller in size. And you know everyone, until now, the prints are stored in the Pusa Manuaba Temple in Gianya Regency. Therefore, the finding of this Nekara printing tool confirms the evidence of mastery of technology to produce bronze items by the Balinese people during the Perundagian period. In other words, Nekara Pejeng is a cultural heritage object that represents the mastery of science as well as technology, especially in the field of printing and metal casting in prehistoric 
times. Everyone, besides Negara Beijing, here in Penataran Sasi Temple, you will also find various historical or ancient relics. There are several archaeological remains, such as Ganesha statue, and then the statue of the embodiment of Batara Batari, or Balinese Hindu's God's Manifestations. You will also find the priest statue, and then Chaturkaya statue, the Dwarapala, and also Lingayoni statue. Well, I'm Anak Agung Yumas. Thank you and see ya on the next video.